Hello, thanks for clicking on the video. This is so exciting. It is time for you to get registered for classes. We are so glad that you're here. So uh, let's just get started. You're gonna need a few things to complete your registration. One is gonna be the list of classes or your educational plan. The other is gonna be the six digit alternate pin number. You would receive both of these from your meeting with your academic advisor. So if you haven't met with them, make sure you meet with them first and get that information. So let's jump right into it. So here, um, you can see them on our main webpage, tigerstate.edu. I'm going to go over here and click this little paw to get me into Tiger Web. And then you can see it's been updated. This is exciting. So I'm already logged in. You may have to log in. You'd click here to log in. And it's going to be your campus email address is going to be the login. So your campus email address is your username at my.chattanoogastate.edu. So um, now we're going to go into the Tiger Tools right here. So we're going into self-service. We'll click this one. And then we're going to click student. And then we're going to click registration. And then we're going to click add or drop classes. All right here you want to make sure to select the credit term. I'm going to work with fall credit term. If you're in the summer, make sure you select that. If you're a TCAT student, just make sure you talk to them and they'll help you out down there. They're awesome folks. So we're going to hit submit. And then here's where we put the alternate PIN number in. And then we click submit. Now we're going to go to schedule planner. Takes it a second. All right, here we are. So um, I'm select, going to select the main campus. It's already selected for me. We do have other campuses. Maybe they're more convenient for you. Just make sure you allow enough time if you're having to drive back and forth from other campuses. And there's also online here. If you're looking to take online classes, I am going to show an easier way than cl clicking right here as well. So we're going to save and continue. Here you can see the fall credit term, the full term uh, has been selected and that is what is a standard semester you're used to. This coming fall, it's so exciting, we're offering a lot of first half session and second half sessions. So that's just seven weeks of classes, so you can focus on maybe two or three at a time instead of four or five. So we're gonna have to put a little bit of brain power here in making sure that we get a good schedule lined out for you. So right now we're gonna just leave it as a full term because I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna go to save and continue. Now, select instruction mode. In person on a schedule, that's just like coming to class. Uh, virtual with scheduled Zoom calls. And then some online and some in person. That means you will have to come to campus as well. It's a hybrid type style. So we're gonna leave all three of those selected. Um, if you have just one preference, you want them all in person, I would select in person as well as some online and some in person. If you want all virtual Zoom calls, you could select just that. Just please know that not all of the classes are going to be offered in all of the formats. So you may have to come to class, to campus, for some classes. Some classes may only be on a, a Zoom. So just be aware as we continue. So save and continue. All right, so here, yours probably doesn't have any courses already added. I went ahead and started adding some courses just to save a little bit of time. Again, our courses will be different, and make sure to push pause if you like as we go through. So I'm going to add another course here. The course I'm going to add is uh, Computer Applications, which is INFS. All right, so it's not there. No results found. The reason for that is it is only offered in a seven-week class format. So it would either be in the first or second session. All right, so... Let's try another one then. Okay, um, we have psychology, so I'm just going to type it in. Uh, all right, so no results found. You can also double check it by seeing if we can just scroll down here. So you can totally scroll. So there's not any psychology listed here, and that's because it's also a seven week class either in the first or second session so if you run into not finding classes here that could be what is the problem is it's not offered in either the format you've selected the instruction mode or in the part of term so I'm going to show you how to fix that so I'm going to go ahead and hit finish adding classes here although I'm not I'm going to go back up here and select the parts of term so I'm going to click 
change this and I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to save this okay now I can go back and add those classes and then we will go from there so we got INFS so see it showed up right here and then I'm going to select a course 1010 computer applications it's got a description I'm going to hit add course so you see it put it over here so now to do the next one you just go to this same line you can either scroll we can scroll through here and find psychology right here it is all right and then we're going to add a course so introduction to psychology and then there's a description we'll hit add course so you see now it's over here perfect so now we're going to say finish adding classes because we have all of them on our list so I had five on my list, which is 15 hours. You may have four on your list, which could be 12 hours. Um, and then if you're taking part-time, that's great, too. It could be a variant. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Generate Schedules here just to see. And it says I have 241 schedules that are generated. That's not bad. I could view those, but I want to go back up here and add a break to see if I can get them in even smaller amounts of choices. So breaks can't overlap each other. And as you saw, I already had a couple on there. So I'm going to add work. And then I'm going to make it from 5, because I work at night, to 11 PM. And I already had one set for Fridays. I'll show you in a second. But they can't overlap, so we're not going to choose Friday on this. Just Monday through Thursday at break. And so when we look at our breaks over here, I made a whole day off on Friday from classes. Breaks mean when you cannot take classes. So I didn't want to take any classes on Friday so I could do extra studying, go to the math lab, the writing center, meet with my advisor if I needed to. Um, whatever resources I need to take advantage of, and Chattanooga State has a lot. So I'm not really a morning person, so I marked off so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday because um, I work at night, and that's where we put work night down here. So you don't have to add breaks, but you can. It just helps narrow it down. Let's see if we narrowed it down any, because sometimes you get over thousands of schedules. So that narrowed it from 250 to 79 schedules. So if you want to look at these, you can just click View, and you can look through at the schedule this way. As you see, this one has a first half, a first half, a first half class. So that's three in the first half plus a full term. So that would be the fourth class, um, and then a second. So I don't really like how this is balanced. And I don't want to go through all of the um, choices. So what I want to show you here is we're going to go back. So I really want you to think and look at these classes that we have. All right, so College Success for Business, that sounds like I would want to take down the first semester to find out some success tips for college. Um, yours may not be for business. It may be for social behavior sciences or humanities, whatever division you may be in. Comp 1, and Comp 1 is a prerequisite for a lot of classes, so I'm going to go ahead and try to take that in the first semester, first half session. So then we look at the other classes. I'm going to take three in the first half, so I'm going to take College Success. Let's uncheck these so we can click them. All right, so first I'm going to take College Success. I'm going to take English, Comp 1, get that, oops, there we go. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and take computer applications and get my computer skills up. So now I've got the three that I want to take in the first part of term, the first half session. So I'm going to come here and click change, and I'm going to take off the second session and the full term, and then I'm going to get hit save. So those are the three classes I decided that I wanted to take in the first seven weeks. So now... I'm going to generate schedules again. All right, so look at there. Now I have four schedules to choose from. So that's great. I can hit view. So I've got some online. I've got a virtual. And then I also have some online and some in person, so the hybrid classes. I'm OK with that. Now, if you didn't like the virtual, you can look to find other options. So we can go back. 
Um, we can compare if you wanted. You can look here. So this also has the virtual. And then, so you can just look at all of them if you want. Let's see what, oops. Oops, it's not co cooperating. So we'll look at this one. So it looks like that English, the only one with the way I have my hours set up, that's going to allow, is going to be virtual. So if I didn't want to take virtual, I could also look to take that in the second semester, second half session, or I could um, look at changing my break time. So I am going to just go ahead with this one. I'm going to send it to the shopping cart. And this is just for the first seven weeks. All right, and then I am going to add it to the worksheet because I'm not ready to register yet. Now I'm going to come back to the schedule planner. Again, press pause if you need. Takes it just a second. And I want to continue planning schedule. So I'm still taking everything on the main campus. Save and continue. And now I'm working on the second half session. So I'm going to uncheck the full one. because so I've got three in that first half session. And now I'm going to put the other two in the second. All right, so I'm going to save and continue. Let's see what happens. Let's say I don't want to have any virtual ones. So you can click this. Let's just see if I can get both of those classes in person. So it's smart enough to see these are the two that I have left, is math and psychology. So I'm going to come down here and click generate schedules. So that gives me just two choices. So I'm going to take a look at the first one. And this is the whole schedule. So I really wanted to do math in person, so that worked out. And then psychology is some online and some in person, so that's perfect. I'm pretty pleased with the schedule. So I'm going to go ahead and send it to the shopping cart. Now, I've, before I do that, if you did not like the options, you can always click back. And again up here, this is where you can work on changing the part of term. You can change that by just clicking and seeing the options in the instruction modes. You can also um, click here to change that. That's where if you wanted to add virtual or all online or all on campus. Okay, so I like this first one. So we'll just click view again. Oops, I keep hitting compare. So just click view. Well, okay, so there it is. Just double check. That's what I want to do. Um, here's a way you can see it. If you scroll down, this is your week. So here in week two, this is what your classes will look like. Um, and then you got virtual and then on campus, on campus. And then you can click over here to week nine, and that's where your new schedule comes. So you can see that's kind of cool. It's just every day, all in a row. I like that. So I'm going to go up here and send this one to the shopping cart. Continue. All right, so here they all are. So now I just have to click this button, register. Takes it a second. All right, so now we just scroll down and you can see I have web registered for all of these classes. I can double check they're all here. Fantastic. Um, so you can also click down here if you wanted to see your student account, pay fees. I want you to go back up to the top, click student again, and then on registration. And then we can do look at student detailed schedule. So here you can look at it and see the teacher, the times, your location. Um, you also can scroll down here and look at purchase books at the college store. So you can take a look at that. So that's all your details. You can also come back up here, click student again. You can click uh, registration, week at a glance. And so school also this year starts a week early. So it starts August 16th. So this is the first seven sessions, first seven weeks, the first uh, session. 
So I would take a picture of this with my camera, just so my cell phone, just so that I have a quick, I can look at it real quick to know exactly what the times are, what room number I'm going to. This is just called week at a glance. It helps me. And then if you wanted to see, when you're ready to see the second session, you would click here, you have to put the date. So that's gonna be 10, 11, 2021. And so here you see the second session, seven week session. So you could take a picture of that and again, it's just quick to see. So this is how you register, you're registered. Uh, I know you can do this, I wish you luck. If you have any questions, just definitely reach out. You can reach out to your advisor. You can also reach out to the Enrollment Services Center. Um, we are all here to help you, and we are glad that you're here. So good luck. Bye-bye.